What's up guys, my name is Cal, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use AirDrop to send files from your Mac to your iOS device. Um, and this also works vice versa, and I'll show you that process as well. So to start off, go ahead and open up a Finder window, and then select the AirDrop tab on the bottom left there. If you don't see it, go to Finder, Preferences, Sidebar, and then go ahead and make sure that AirDrop has been checked. Um, once it has, it'll show up there. And then just make sure your phone has been turned on uh, and is at its home screen, and you should see it uh, show up in the little AirDrop file there. You see Callahan McKinley iPhone, that's my phone there. So I have an image here, just go ahead and drag and drop it onto the uh, little icon. It'll say waiting, sending, and on, on the phone it'll say AirDrop, Cal McKinley is requesting to share a file, and it'll send it, and then you have the image right there on your phone in perfect quality, so you don't have to like email it where you lose quality, stuff like that. Um, so it's really good. To do this vice versa, just tap the share button in the bottom left corner, and then tap on the uh, Callahan iMac you see right there. Same exact process, just tap on it, and then on the computer it will download, it'll show up in your downloads folder right there. You can see I can go ahead and open up the image, uh, and there you have it. That's how to send files from your Mac to your iPhone. This works for a bunch of different types of files. Uh, it even works for music, although there's a slight uh, something more you have to do. Basically, if you want to do, uh, if you want to send music to your device, you have to get a special app. Um, iTunes requires it. It's kind of weird, um, but it will work then. So you can send music and uh, photos, you know, documents, anything you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and see you guys later.